Thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry again. Man, does it get better than this? I say that a lot because I love it. I love where I am. Hey, stick with me on this one. I'm going to show you this little camping spot that I just came up with. And also, I've got something special. Uh, UTV Molly. Some Molly panels for side-by-side. -side. Right now, it's X3s, but coming real soon to most other side-by-sides. Man, I really wish I could blare the radio <laughs> while I'm filming. But I can't. YouTube and copyright and all that stuff. It is such a nice day today. It's like almost 60 degrees. The end of February in central Utah. Man, what a nice day. President's Day. Yeah. We're going for a ride for all the presidents that can. <laughs> anyway. I got something to share with you guys. Stay tuned. Check it out. UTVMolly.com. I'm going to show you what I got going on. So, hang out for a minute. Check this stuff out. It's kind of cool. Have this secret spot maybe it's secret maybe it's not it's on a piece of private ground but look at the background you guys oh man way over there is the tusher mountains that's the pavant mountain range in central utah and i'm on the north end of the monroe mountain if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Anyway, a couple years ago, they came in here and they leveled thousands of trees in the name of deer habitat. All of this used to look like that up there. Doesn't anymore. But they did happen to leave a nice little grove right here that I'm going to clean this stuff up a little bit and then I'll be back to show you what I got to show you. <laughs> okay, there. Check that out. Alright, got me a fire pit with a wind block coming off of the mountain there. Cleaned this up. Nice, secluded. I think you might see me camping here in the real near future. Anyway, guys, uh, I got a bunch of old sagebrush there. I'm going to go ahead and light a fire because... It's not an outing in the wilderness without a fire. I made some fire starter with some leftover old beard care club. Shout out to the beard care club. I use this stuff religiously. You could go and check out some of my old videos where I had pretty wicked cool beard. And this stuff was amazing. But this is leftover and kind of smells funny. So I turned it into a fire starter. So let's do it.
Don't worry, this probably won't turn into a bushcraft channel. <laughs> cotton balls and beard cream. Hey look, and when you're done, <laughs> one little flick of a hope that burns long enough. There you go. Leftover beard cream. <laughs> Fire starter with a little cotton ball. Okay, so this kind of brings out the little boy in me, right? Got me a cool little camping spot. Got me a fire going. And... Can Am X3 Max, you guys, for the win. What I wanted to share with you guys, check this out. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is kind of uh, molly bag geeks, but anyway, I got some molly bags there that I really want to use in my side by side. What do I do? Look right there. Look right there. Look back there. Just pinch and zoom, right? <laughs> and. Check this out, you guys. Here's the driver's door. These are UTV Molly. And are they sponsored? Yeah, they're sponsored because it's mine. Yeah. I decided I wanted to use some Molly bags and didn't want to pay crazy prices for some of the other Molly panels that are out there. And uh, yeah, so I came up with these. They utilize a factory bolt right there in the door and then Velcro straps around the panels. Same thing over there on the passenger side. And let me show you this one back here. This will fit in the middle of a two seat or a four seat. So that's a first aid pouch that I have set up there and it's just on a quick release. Boom. They just go into the turbo cover there, the engine cover, and they work on a two seat or on the back of a four seat. And here is the same piece, and it is set up. Uh, let me show you. It is set up in the front of a four seater. So it attaches up here with Velcro straps, attaches with one screw right there behind. You see that? One screw right there behind the cup holder. And, uh, yeah, you guys. Check out utvmolly.com. Um, Can MX3 right now. Other models coming soon. Or drop me a request for something and I'll see what I can do to hook you up. But anyway, I am going to put these Molly pouches in place. And then I'm going to show you... I'm gonna show you what's in my molly pouch. I got them set up and there you go. Whatever molly bags you wanna use. This one I use as kind of a, a dump bag or a trash bag or you can see over on that side, I got a water bottle in there. This side over here, this one is just a little small unit here. Let's, I got a bandana, I got a couple of little more velcro hookies in there and i got a pocket knife i mean you can do pretty much whatever you want that side uh i got i don't remember what's in there i think there's a flashlight and another knife in there 
but in here this is kind of a survival kit you guys uh open this up i've got so in here i've got a, a pair of trauma scissors um there's a there's one of those mylar blankets uh that's a survival kind of a little knife card tape i keep a pair of gloves in here up here in the top um i've got an extra bungee up here i got some paracord um there is a kit there for fixing tires there's some hot hands i mean just all kinds of stuff you can put in there you guys the bottom one i just have sitting there because it looks cool <laughs> i don't have anything in it yet so as you can see guys with utvmolly.com i can customize the storage on my x3 and soon razor and soon krx i don't know we're we're going to expand to all of them eventually but if you have a request drop a comment down below and let me know what machine you've got and I'll see what I can do to get something set up. Anyway, it's been good to get out, you guys. It has been a minute. Thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Like if you do, subscribe if you haven't. I'm just gonna kinda hang out here for a minute. This is good. That sun's gonna set in just a little bit and I'm ready for it. Look at that. Amazing.